I have a confession to make. I'm a virgin. That's right, I'm a Dungeons & Dragons virgin. But it's not for a lack of interest. It's not even because I was afraid that I'd get swirlied even harder and more frequently in middle school. No, during my formative years, the times when I had the easiest access to D&D, as well as friends who were interested and available, I had an even scarier reason for not playing it. My mom wouldn't let me. Like many upstanding American parents in the 90s, my mom was fully aware that Dungeons & Dragons was just a dressed up gateway drug to worshipping the devil. True story. The satanic panic was very real, my friends. I have letter after letter where people took the pieces. Now, there's sixes involved in the pieces of the game, but they yeah. take the pieces of the game, they would throw them in the incinerator or the fireplace, and screams would come out because there seemed to be some kind of spiritual forces inhabiting those pieces. It is also the target of a group of concerned parents in the United States who call themselves BAD, B-A-D-D, -D, bothered about Dungeons and Dragons. The reason they are bothered is because they believe the game has been involved in a number of murders and suicides across the United States and now in Canada. There was speculation he was the victim of a campus game called Dungeons and Dragons. Fast forward some 20 odd years and my interest in giving the old pen and paper RPG a go never really dwindled. With the rise of D&D and pop culture, especially my personal favorite, Stranger Things, my desire to try it has only grown. Enter Baldur's Gate 3, which released in August 2023 and quickly found itself ranked among the best Dungeons & Dragons games of all time. After being assured by some friends that it's really accessible to noobs like me, and after realizing it has quite a lot of fun to offer, I decided I'd boot it up and give it a shot. Everyone, I'm playing Dungeons & Dragons! Just don't tell my mom. This is Lutz Magoots. Our adventure awaits. Okay, but these cutscenes though? Holy crap. Okay, I've seen her in some promo stuff. I'm not usually into like orcish features, but pretty cute. Oh, 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 I don't like that. That is very wienery. Oh, I'm just now seeing his face. Oh, oh God. Oh, why would you do that? That's so mean. Oh my God. Mm. Me? Oh, I did not like that. I did not like that. Wow. Okay. Uh, <laughs> why am I kind of hot right now? And I didn't even do anything. Okay. Looks a lot like Lysel. So that because of the same race. Githyanki, though? I've never heard of that. All right, maybe I choose my race. And their sub-race? Well, naturally, I'm going to be a human. <laughs> no, I'm not. Uh, I do like the drow a lot. A lot. Could I be a drow? Could I be like a drow ranger? I think I'll go with a drow. How pretty can I make my character here? Okay, that's it. I can work with that. Um, Two different types of... I didn't actually read about this here. Driven to the Underdark, most drow have adopted a ruthless pragmatism. While the Lolth's sworn delight in the goddess's evil tenets, the Seldarin reject her attempt to overthrow the leader of the elven pantheon. Wow, I'm glad I read that. That Everything just makes sense to me now. I'm so glad I read that. <laughs> Good God. I know nothing. All right, we're going to be a Seldarin drow. I took a quiz and I was supposed to become a ranger. I know I don't have to abide by it, but I'm typically a ranger or a rogue. Ranger details. I have simple weapon and martial weapons uh, proficiency. Uh, light armor, medium armor, and shields. Okay, I get true strike. 
and I get find familiar. Summon a familiar, a fae spirit that takes an animal form of your choosing. I love that. I love that. Oh, I edit appearances right here. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Where to next? I think I like voice three the best. They have eight voice actors for this. Wow. I'm kind of liking this face. I don't think I'm going to make this look like a uh, Lutz Magoots drow style. I think I'm just going to try to make a cool looking character. What do you guys think about that? Oh my freaking gosh. Look at all of these skin colors. Let's see what kind of scar is the most cool. Ooh, I like that one. On the scale of young buck to gilf, where do I fall? Young-ish? You should check the all skin colors box and see how deep the rabbit hole goes. Oh my gosh. Oh, these are actually even a violet tone? Drowned corpse purple. <laughs> we gotta go moon. No, they absolutely have to go moon. And I actually super like this color. Just like I super like Coleman. We need at least maybe some freckles. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, what do I do now? It's time to choose my genitals. Well, there are definitely genitals there. Okay. Penis B. Penis B. I think I'm gonna have to inspect these much more closely in order to find out what the difference is between these uh, penises. Oh, it's circumcision. That's the difference. And Harry for the ladies. Which one would Spanky most likely be packing? I'm gonna go with penis A. Body art. Yeah, I don't know if I want a face tattoo. I want 10 face tattoos. <laughs> as far as face tattoos go, that one's pretty cool. I actually like that one a lot. Piercing style. Fasten stars. Oh, we got to get some piercings too. The eyes. Oh, two different eye colors. Whoa, it's purple on the inside. Whoa. Yeah, we got to go with that. Thinking I should go with something more understated with the, the one bright eye. I kind of just like that. Just kind of an opal. We're on makeup seven, just for slightly darker eyes. I actually kind of like that idea. Slightly darker eyes. Makes them look a little bit sunken. Also pretty emo. Colors gotta be black unless it's... Oh yeah, I was gonna say, unless we can make it just slightly less dark. Yes. Yes. 69. You guys like this? Character looking good. Bear Forester. That one's pretty good. I think I'm just going to go with this one. Fair Forester. Highlights. Ha! Yes. Something that'll kind of look like my skin color. Is there a moon? Graying. Graying intensity. What is this? Oh, is this? This is probably more what I wanted. Let's look at this. Yeah. A more all throughout. Uh, Maybe teal four though. Yeah. Teal four matches the eye a little better. It's relatively subtle but it's pretty good, right? This is looking good. So then I go back to editing my character. Years of traveling in the wild have made you particularly attuned to beasts or adept at surviving in certain environments. What do these do? Proficiency in sleight of hand. You can cast fine familiar without expending a spell, a spell slot. I think I'm going to go with beast tamer after all. Favored enemy. Studying the tactics and abilities of certain creatures has granted you a set of abilities that is useful in a variety of situations. I think I'll just stick with mage breaker. My background. Guild artisan. I have to go with that, don't I? I've always wanted to be a charlatan. You're an expert in manipulation, prone to exaggeration, and more than happy to profit from it. Bending the truth and turning allies against each other will lead to greater success down the road. Man, that seems mean. Entertainer? You like to sway and subvert your audience, engaging common crowds in high society like preserving art and bringing joy to the hapless and downtrodden heightens your charismatic aura. Oh, with my skill being in acrobatics? Abilities. Agility, reflexes, and balance. Yeah, we'll need that. We'll need that, okay? Intelligence, wow, I am dumb as a box of rocks. But I'm wise? I can subtract, right? So if I wanna do that, I can, okay, good. Oh, determines how far you can jump? Come on, come on. Jumping is not a strength exercise, it's a speed exercise. Go with a little bit more balance. If you're a proficient in skill, you add a bonus to those skill checks, making you more likely to succeed. Stealth is good. I'm gonna go with athletics. Nature? Recognize plants and animals, hugs trees. Okay, that's very cute, but is that the best use for me? Probably survival. I'm gonna go with survival. All right, I think this is it. Are we gonna spankify a different name or do we wanna just go with the good old tried and true spanky? Like a combination of spanky and legolas. Spankless Birchson. Let's do this. Spankless Birchson is born. There's a guardian. Uh, Tell me, give me one reason why I shouldn't just go ahead and hit venture forth. Is there anything wrong with me just going and choosing this one because uh, it's kind of bad. We're going with it, just the default. We're freaking venturing forth. Who is this being? They are scary.
What? What is happening? Okay. <laughs> I guess dragons is how you compete. Oh my gosh. The dragons look tiny in comparison. It was almost like the Death Star. And now it's like Avatar. What? <laughs> Seriously, how do you compete? Scene is going dummy. Holy crap. Oh my gosh. It's still afloat. After all of that. Those don't look friendly to me. Oh my gosh. Oh, that was me. Ha! Ah. I'm here. Oh my gosh. I am very beautiful. <laughs> I'm not trying to toot my own horn or anything. I'm not trying to brag. It's just a fact. Okay. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Move to start your adventure. Click the ground or hold left mouse button. Okay. Oh, yeah. Mind flare pod. Someone else got out. Someone else is out. Mind flare. Oh, this is the mind flare. Oh, there are multiple mind flares? Dead. Good. Good. Glad you're dead, mind flare. That way you can't haunt the upside down any longer. Uh, oh, yeah, it is a sphincter. Thank you! Thank you! I'm glad that this game calls it like it is. These are sphincters. I've played Halo for so long and they try to pretend like they're not just straight up butthole doors. Thank you, Baldur's Gate 3. Don't try to lie to me and tell me it's just a door. It's a freaking butthole. Hammer rotation. Uh, let's see. Use E or Q. Oh, I can just... Oh. The camera is not locked to my character. Okay, what's this? A goblin? Goblin these nuts? 
Worlds beyond worlds flash before your eyes. Empires of a grand design traversed by ships just like this. Is this my guardian speaking? A feeling penetrates your mind. An anomaly, one like ourselves, unconnected from the whole. Caution. Oh, it's a narrator? So it's not my guardian. Okay. I like the voice. All right. Uh, neural at- Whoa, shoot! I didn't mean to do that! Oh, maybe I did, though? No, I did mean to do this. Okay. There's another ner- Whoa! What's this? Murnath. Under operation? Whoa. Under- What does under operation mean? He looks pretty dead to me. Oh! Never mind. Oh my gosh, is he like a husk? Yes. You've come to save us from this place. From this place you'll free us. Oh, I don't trust you. Please. Before they return. They return. Oh, I lost my perception save? You sound afraid. Why? The enemy. So many enemies. My gosh, his brain is twerking all over the place. Who am I talking to, a man or a brain? A newborn. Born new from this husk. I was right, it is a husk. I realize you're talking to an intellect devourer, a minion of the mind flayers who abducted you. A minion of the mind flayer who abducted Yeah, I'm not doing that at all. I've, I, I've been feeling sussed out from the beginning. Tell me what to do. Remove us from this body, from this case. Free us, please. Uh, let's just inspect. I'll probably fail, but let's try. Okay, skill checks, skill checks, general tutorial. Some dialogue options require a skill check, a dice roll that must meet or exceed a target number. Your character skills add a bonus to this roll. Okay. Is there any reason for me to not do this? Freaking nailed it. You notice edema, a swelling of the brain causing pressure where it strains against the shell of the skull. Yeah, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to destroy this freaking brain. I don't trust this thing one bit. Although, wait a minute, is that going to release it? No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I think I did what I set out to do. What is this? Ugh. What is that? I've been playing for an hour and 15 minutes. I feel like I, I mean, I know it's just character creation, but even starting character creation, I feel like I've been playing for 10 minutes. I freaking love this so far. We're about to leave the Nautiloid and go down its tongue. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's the uh, Lysel, right? We're friends, we're friends. This is your end. Wait, what did I do? Visions rush past. A dragon's wing, a silver sword, and a flash of your face seen through the strange woman's eyes. Oh. <sighs> My head. What is this? <sighs> Squall. You are no thrall. Okay. Blackith blesses me. This oh, she day. thought it was a thrall. Okay. Together. What made you think I was a thrall? Am I that ugly? I just was talking about how I was kind of cute. Uh, who are you? Who am I? Your only chance of survival. No, 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 I mean like, who are you? Like, like what kind of things do you like to do? Uh, you know, tell me about where you're from, your family, your interests. Let me figure out where we are. We can do nothing until we escape. That must be our priority. First. We exterminate the imps. Oh, then imps? we find the helm and take control of the ship. We will address the matter of a cure for this infection once we reach the material. We're going to drive this baby out of here? No way. Come on. Wait, are those her cheeks? <laughs> Wait, am I really about to fight right now? Oh my gosh. Get ready to fight. Combat happens in rounds and each participant gets a turn to act. During your turn, you can move, take an action, and a bonus action. Uh, I could just snipe this imp from here. 
Wait, 95% chance of hitting? We've also got some powers, right? If I click this and then click over here. Let my name be known. I am so good at this game. Get absolutely, I mean absolutely, ooped all over. And that's only my regular action. Pommel strike. Oh, I'm going to do, uh, yeah, hit him with the butt of the sword. Oh, not enough movement left, though. Okay, hang on. Spankless time. Stand in my way. I'm sniping these bad boys. Oh, I have a hamstring shot. Possibly reduce their movement speed by 50%. Ha! Huh, yeah. He's not going to be moving so much, it seems. Party view tab. Oh, okay. Built for function rather than fun. Wait a minute. How is this functional? Also, why am I doing this in the middle of a fight? I guess I just end my turn. Ah, it hurts so bad. I could punch it in the face. I think I'm gonna do that. Get freaking punched. Lazel's gonna go ahead and kill it anyway. So I figure I might as well get my attack in there. Wrecked. Wait a minute, does this, this Mind Flayer had 71 health? Oh my gosh. I better not run into one of them. A scimitar. That seems like a good thing for Spankless to carry around. And wait, I can have two melee weapons? I do have two hands after all. Okay, I like this. Light crossbow does more damage than short bow. Oh, that looks sick. You automatically use your bonus action to make an offhand attack while using two weapons unless you toggle this option. Okay. Well, I don't know how else to use a bonus action, so that sounds like a good thing. So if I click chasm, okay, okay. She's not gonna, I, I had to check, <laughs> check. Surely she couldn't actually just push me off the cliff, right? She like Falcon punched me just. <laughs> I I didn't, I mean like here, you can't walk off the edge. Like why would it, why would you, I don't know. Why would you be able to shove off the edge? That's. Cave machinery. I can make no sense of it. Oh, me either. I can't make sense of even English machinery in this. Hang on a second. What are these sigils? Arcana fail. Okay, hang on. Maybe, maybe Lazel can help. Nope. Aggression. Ooh, okay, hang on. Okay, so we have aggression and annihilate. What would the first one be? Mind Flayer Pod? Oh! Shadow Heart! Well, we do if they're cute. I'll go look around. There must be some way to get this thing open. The contraption next to the pod. Okay. Do I just touch it? The console appears dormant. Uh, look for a switch or release. The mechanisms are completely unrecognizable at first. Then you spy an empty socket. I'm just going to hit this thing. Nothing. The console remains dormant. How big of a socket are we talking about? Is it roughly like, is it roughly penis D? Oh, there's something. Into like devourer. Oh wait, it's I can talk to it. I'm trying to talk to you. Okay, come here. You are beautiful. <laughs> That's what I was trying to chase it around for. You are beautiful. No, you stop. It's true. I am beautiful though. Mind flare pod. That one looks empty. Oh no, it's not. Trapped inside the pod. She doesn't notice you. Eldritch rune. This might unlock those controls next to the pod. Oh, okay. What happens if I push this? Could be fine, right? Oh wait, no, read the sigil. Perfect. Perfect? What would be perfect to a mind flare? Probably not anything good, right? Or is it perfect? Perfect something? As you place your hand on the pod, you hear something. A presence connected to the pod, commanding the person inside to change. Oh, I did it wrong. Next time on Baldur's Gate 3. Is this to be our fate? The newborn mind.
mind flayer stares at you, weak and dazed. 